Good evening. A huge fire at a recycling depot in Smethwick is technically still alight, but the operation there is moving from containment to cleanup. A Chinese lantern caused the fire and the West Midlands Fire Service today released CCTV images of the moment it struck the stacks of plastic. Callum Watkinson reports. A quiet night in Smethwick. Nothing for the owners of the J-Plus recycling plant to worry about. But watch the top right-hand corner of your screen. A lone Chinese lantern drifts silently onto a stack of baled plastic. It appears to bounce before coming to rest, captured here by another camera. Fire took hold within eight minutes. Five hours later, the cameras were looking at this. And by morning, residents in Smethwick and across the Midlands were waking up to this. After 36 hours hard firefighting, this is all that's left of the 100,000 tonnes of plastic. Fewer hands needed here now, but vigilance still vital. This was one of the largest fires that the West Midlands Fire Service has ever had to tackle. We had 200 firefighters here at its peak. That's now been reduced through the night, you know, down to less than 100. And now we have about 50 firefighters here. But we do expect to have, uh, you know, numbers around about 20 or 30 firefighters for the next day or so supporting the operations at this scene. These firefighters are now hunting for hot spots. This may look fairly benign compared with yesterday, but there's still a lot of heat energy underneath the top layer here, and there's every chance that could reignite and cause further small fires, especially as these diggers start to break into some of the debris. They've been using water from the nearby Birmingham Canal to douse the flames. As it runs back in, heavily carbonised, it can cause problems for wildlife, so the Environment Agency are watching closely. We're making measurements of the amount of oxygen in the water because that's important for all the things that live in there, the fish and so on. The organic compounds in the fire that come into the river and the bugs live on those and they use that all up. So really it's a natural process but it just runs out of control because of the organic material there. And it means that the, uh, the fish that are in here are going to struggle to breathe. You can buy these lanterns for less than a pound. The combined cost to the factory owners and the fire service of this one going astray six million times that amount. Callum Watkinson, ITV News, Birmingham. Well, some uh, amazing images there and the dramatic scenes in Smethwick have prompted some to call for Chinese lanterns to be banned. Yes, as well as concern over fire safety, it's claimed the lanterns can kill animals and even endanger aircraft. However, the government has so far ruled out a ban, as Gareth Owen reports. A breathtaking sight. Chinese lanterns have become hugely popular at weddings, at parties. And until recently, they were a familiar sight at the Glastonbury Festival. Three years ago, organisers there banned them. Now, the government is being urged to follow suit, and not just because they could start a fire. Pat Stanley breeds prize-winning cattle on her farm in Colville in Leicestershire. Stray lanterns often land on her fields, and she's scared of the damage they could do. We are picking up, I would say, in the tens every week. It only takes one tiny particle of wire to kill a cow. It only takes one flame to set uh, uh, a straw stack alight. I think it defies uh, all common sense and logic not to have banned them immediately. And this is one of them, Chinese lantern that you can buy from pretty much any high street. You light the wax fuel cell here and then release it into the air. Now, the problem for farmers is this frame. Now, most are like this one, marketed as being 100% safe and biodegradable. This is made of bamboo, not metal wire. But animal welfare experts say that's not the point. This can still do an awful lot of damage to an animal. Uh, the parts of the biodegradable ones tend to be made out of bamboo which splinters and takes a considerable amount of time to biodegrade. It's the splinters that the animals um, ingest and then it goes into their digestive system and causes untold injuries. The lanterns have also caused problems out at sea. Lifeboat crews have reported an increase in the number of false call-outs as people mistake them for flares. And airlines have also criticised them warning they could bring down a plane. 
They have been banned in Austria, in Spain, in Germany, uh, New Zealand and Australia. And as our climate changes, the risks of them setting wildfires, uh, landing on paper, setting more factories ablaze will clearly rise. So I think we need to look at the full costs of the sky lantern in industry. The government says the response to this should be proportionate. But after scenes like this in a Midlands city, the debate is likely to continue. Gareth Owen, ITV News. A man from Coventry has been found...